even though a great portion of what we perceive as HEMA has been reconstructed and understood, there are still areas which are kind of obscure to us. Perhaps the greatest challenge for us modern fencers is to understand the why, how and when aspects of the tricks that we practice, since it's the topic which lacks almost any coverage. Streichen or sweeping belongs to one of the most secretive concepts and I'd like to take you on a short journey to explore the secrets of the Streich. Let's implant the bug first. You need to understand that philosophically and tactically everything what you see now is a langord. From the iron gate through the very langord to the high from tag, everything has the ultimate same tactical value. More on that topic later. The Streichen or the sweeps is the name of an upward short edge strike that is done from lower positions. Streichen can be done in many ways and trajectories but the Streichen that we should concentrate on should be done from the left side. The reason is simple. Considering your right hander an upward sweep from your right leaves you open for a longer time and is less forgiving when your angle or timing is wrong. That doesn't mean we shouldn't use them from both sides, they just serve a different purpose and have a different tactical value. A Streich isn't just a movement from one side to the other, it is a full, legit cut that has a strong damaging potential. Even in our environment, which prevents the ultimate outcome, we should learn how to cut it with enough power and with a full swing. Ultimately, Techniques are not important, but in order to give you an overview of what can be done, let's go through the 9 plays that can be found in the Ringeg manuscript, the most detailed account for Streichen tricks that we have. As you can see, most of these have a common denominator. One of the guys lays in the iron gate and sweeps up, while the other falls on his sword. These techniques usually just take into account if someone is pushing, staying high or doing nothing, so they are not that much different from your usual Kunstdesfechtens. The recipe and the way you should be looking at this is simple. If you end up high, use a safe and mechanically sound response of doubling. If the way is shut, just go round and double again. If your partner is weak and flies away, just return in the most direct way possible. By the way, when you try this very typical Streichen drill from the other side as well, you will immediately see why it's not wise from the right. If your opponent is pushing too much in the bind, just yield to the pressure, let them go their way, they will help you to gain momentum and strike them in the shortest possible way. This is the Schnappen, one of the Abschneiden which is mentioned in the standard Zetel. The term Zekrur or Schneller is reserved for short swift strikes towards openings. Dropping your point towards the opponent's forearm from bind or a winden cut, dupliren or a direct one, all fall into this category. Every time you have the opportunity and it doesn't endanger you, just shoot a touch towards the nearest opening. For instance, after a wind, when your opponent is short, every position when they cross their arms or pull them on the side makes them short. And that goes for a severe cut to the other side as well. You can see it as an alternative if you're not sure in closer place or don't have enough time to fall into the arms with a slice. When people shorten their reach with crossed arm positions, remember that striking at their sword from the inside out is a better choice than to do it from the other side where they can launch a faster and more natural response. A golden rule in fencing is that you should avoid blade contact as much as you can. As much as it gives information, as much as it provides us with opportunities, the same applies to your opponent. You should learn multiple ways of evading the bind from a strike or lower positions in general. Use it either to shoot your point towards the nearest opening, to gain control and wind, or to close up and perform a Verkehrer or something. Options are almost limitless, just explore them as much as you can. Alright, so while we watch some of the examples of how Streichen and related plays can be played out in sparring or free play, I'd like to return to the bug I've implanted in the beginning of this video. You need to understand that no movement in fencing should be done in vain or just so. Everything has its purpose and learning how to read this is the essential skill that we must learn. 
simple cuts or thrusts aside, a strike is the ultimate projection of the principle of Langort into fencing. Every single position which we go through is a variation on Langort. Every single one of those positions should be able to deal at any point with whatever comes in. When I'm standing in the iron gate, I'm a danger with sweeping. While sweeping, I'm moving for the pointy langords, which means I have the longest reach and whether I bind my opponents from below or above, I should be able to handle them easily and safely. When I find myself in the high phone tag, I'm in the most menacing position, ready to shoot the point or a cut at any time. There is not a single time where I am not a danger to them, if I learn to control Langort and understand its applications. You need to practice this well and if you do, you will understand that if you want to play a safe but a menacing game, this is one of the best Zufechten approaches you can take. Of course, there are plenty of measures that can be taken against it, but that's the best thing about fencing, right? Almost limitless possibilities and everything depends on how good can we analyze what's going on and how well we can perform given a strong pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking time to watch my fifth video in the Longsword series. I hope you like it and should you have any questions, just drop a comment or something. All the best to you and see you soon!